Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Thursday, November 11th. Today our country marks the 103rd anniversary of the end of World War I, and our country celebrates Veterans Day. Therefore, I hope and pray that everyone listening has a blessed Veterans Day. And to those veterans who are listening, thank you very much for your service to our country. I pray that God will bless you abundantly for all your sacrifices that you've made on behalf of our great nation. I also want to take a moment to thank any families of veterans who might be listening right now. When someone serves in the military, his or her entire family also serves and is affected by the sacrifices made by veterans. So may God bless you, the families of veterans as well. And may again, you know of the great pride that many of us have for all veterans and their families. On this Veterans Day, the church gives us a great gospel passage to meditate upon as our country gives thanks for the sacrifices made by all members of the military. Today's gospel passage comes to us from the 25th chapter of St. Matthew's Gospel. It reads, Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did it for me. All of us, without a doubt, would wish that we could get rid of militaries and truly live in peace in our world. But until the evil and sinfulness that brings forth conflict is ended, there will always be a need for a military, and there will be a need for people to volunteer to serve in those militaries. So on this Veterans Day, we acknowledge that military members, through their service to our country here and abroad, have helped and supported not only our nation, but millions of people throughout the world. And this service and support happened during some of the most difficult and harrowing situations in the history of the world. So when you heard today's gospel, I hope and pray you could see that veterans live out this gospel in a unique way. Yes, again, we don't want militaries, we don't want wars, we do not want the violence associated with these events. But at their core, members in the military truly are men and women who live out lives of service, dedicated to helping their fellow citizen and also their fellow man throughout the world. So as the Gospel passage points out, that whenever we're committed to serving others, even individuals we do not know, we are truly doing service for the body of Christ and in a way imitating Jesus Christ who came to serve and not to be served. So right now, about 0.7% of our population serves in the military. An additional 7.5% of all Americans have served in the military. So there are a substantial number of us who have offered up our lives in order to help others and to strive to imitate the gospel we heard today. So for the other 
91% of people who have not served in the military. And for those that do not know the sacrifices made by these individuals, I would just ask that you just keep those veterans in your prayers and acknowledge that if they did their jobs well, and most do, they truly made a difference in this world in a very positive way. And again, in some of the most difficult, harrowing, and frustrating events in our history. And again, if we keep this service in mind, I know that they, those veterans, would feel more support and feel more help as they truly live with the scars that do come from being in the military and seeing the face of war. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us and pray for all veterans.